Hi everyone, this is Eastar Ra um, with a message for you today. Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2016. We are in quite the energy and it's been a while since I've had a video out and I apologize for that. Um, there's been some real stuff going on in this end. I don't know about all of you, but I'm assuming all of you have gone through some stuff as well. So let's start off with a few things. First of all, we just went through an equinox shift yesterday evening. I believe it was in the afternoon on um, Eastern Standard Time, around 2.33 o'clock yesterday. I felt the shift. It was really powerful, and everything seems to be a little smoother. Um, Mercury began to leave its retrograde phase um, yesterday, and or the day before into yesterday, but I have to say it's you know, it's still kind of like you can feel a little bit of like a wobbling energy with it. And so we're um, having Mercury begin to go direct, which I have to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit, because it has been the most difficult work Mercury retrograde for me. And, and I'll explain that to you in just a few moments. So um, I want to give you a quick little heads up as to what's been happening with me, just so you know why I haven't had a video out there. And um, coming to you this morning, I got up, showered. Uh, threw some clothes on and actually very comfortable clothes. Um, I have a class I'm teaching in an hour and a half and I am trying to get this video out as quick as possible. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible um, just so that you get updated information, what's happening and what's going on, as well as, you know, where I've been and what's been happening my way. So, um, you know, this is like really going to be a little all over the place, I think. I don't know. I'm saying that, but the truth is none of my videos I ever plan or think about. I just kind of turn the camera on and I start speaking and giving you what comes to me. And quite often when I'm speaking, things channel through me all the time. So when people talk with me, I'm like, wow, that was really profound and good. And usually the, my friend is like, wow, that was really amazing. And I'm thinking, yeah, I know. Obviously, that came as a channel. And so talking to me, that often happens. Um, so here's what's been happening for me. Mercury retrograde has been wreaking havoc in my life since, I don't know, since I discovered what Mercury retrograde was, and perhaps well before that. Um, I used to have computer issues, problems with, like, uh, telephones, you know, all that kind of thing. And, you know, minimal little in, um, problems and little interruptions and stuff in my life. It was no big deal. And then it started to get a little stronger over the last several years. You know, having the recognition of Mercury retrograde probably put that, made it, made it a little wor worse for me because I put that out there as, oh my God, it's Mercury retrograde. So in the last year, Mercury retrograde hasn't really been wreaking major havoc. It's been giving me a lot of reflection time, opportunities to do some extra healing, clearing, and cutting away energy. Well, this past Mercury retrograde, I have had... Like, you name every issue that you could possibly have happen, it happened. Not only did I get sick after my trip um, away, which you are all aware of, I was very sick with a bacterial infection. So I'm going to tell you what happened. I ended up um, drinking water in the Hamptons, and apparently the water there is contaminated with bacteria. And it because I already have, like, some immune system issues with from my car accident and all the stuff I'm healing from, I... Um, I got sick with it, pretty sick. So I was really sick, and I want to say again, thank you to all of you who are my clients, who had appointments with me for understanding the cancellations, the reschedulings. I really appreciate it. It, it was really tough for me. Um, then I started to get better, and I'm like, yay, this is good. Well, I went to, I'm having trouble with my computer. I'm hoping this actually will hold the video and maintain it, because who knows. But I'm assuming since Mercury is moving direct, it's probably going to be fine for a little while. Um, my computer wasn't working very well, so finally I decided to get a new computer, and I ordered a new computer, came to me, did not work. And what I say about that is I had my computer guy out here, he worked with it for like a day, he's like, oh, you need a whole new drive for your DVD, CD-ROM drive, it needs to be, re they need to send you a new one. So that was one problem. And I'm like, oh, okay, I could deal with that, no worries. You know, he's like, yeah, you're just going to pull it out and push back in, we'll, you know, I'll show you what to do with it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, no problem. So I go to use it, and I can't type. I can't actually get a real sentence out. I can't use it, can't do anything with it. So ironically, um, I thought, well, hey, you know, it's my energy. My energy is really intense and crazy. So then I went away to uh, my parents to get my car repaired, and I'm getting my car repaired. I have this laptop, this new laptop that's all set for me, and I wake up, and I can't use the laptop. I can't even 
type on it. Every time I typed on it, new windows would pop open, different things would happen. I would type a sentence, it would jump over to like different pages and create weird things. And I had such craziness with my laptop. So that was like hell, just so you know. Um, meanwhile, I'm, I kind of, I say this, I'm kind of, I was trapped with my parents because I didn't have a car. I was there while my car was being repaired and I'm here trying to do work. And I thought, well, yeah, I'll do work all day. Couldn't do anything. And um, so I am still trying to respond to emails, just so you all know. I'm having so many computer issues. It, they're still not done yet, is what I want to say. Um, I had a return the other computer. I returned it on Monday. And I am waiting for them to refund me my money. So once I get the refund, I'm actually getting another computer that hopefully will work better. Um, but the current one that I have literally crashes. It just it just stops working. And I think a couple of times I've recorded videos in the past, it might have happened then. Um, it I think it like overheats or something and it's like melting my hard drive. It's doing all kinds of weird things to my computer. So what's interesting is I feel like... Um, I've been able to do some stuff, but I had a, a Skype session with somebody, a Skype call with someone on um, Tuesday evening, and in the middle of it, it just shut off. So if you have not heard from me and you emailed me, reached out to me, and wanted a session, I am so sorry. Give me until early next week to get back to everybody who emailed me in the last week and a half. And I'm so sorry for the delay, but the truth is I don't have my business email on my cell phone, so I can't actually respond to you that way. Um, there's many reasons for that. But also, it's just not possible at this time. And I, um, I haven't been on Facebook. I haven't been able to update things. I've been trying to get onto Facebook in the moments I think I have a computer just to say, hey, I have a computer. I, I've had problems, and you know, bear with me. Please be patient. And then some of you got gotten emails from me because I'm like, oh, I'm going to use the computer, and then I use it for a little while, and then it gets really hot and crashes. So that is what's happening with my computer situation. That's why you haven't heard from me. That's why I haven't done many videos, and that's why I've not updated things. I was really fearful of using the computer, thinking, ah, it's not going to work. But I wanted to do something today just to give you kind of what's been happening, what's going on. And we are in the craziest time. So my guides always told me September's a really big month. September's a really big month. Well, of course, again, they never really tell me exactly what that all means. But let me tell you, this every single thing that could happen, happened. And um, not just for me, I think for everyone. And I, I believe everybody is being confronted and faced during, well, was being confronted and faced during this Mercury retrograde with whatever they need to do. So for quite, for example, for me, um, I have had a lot of physical stuff going on, not like physical body, you know, illness and stuff like that. Obviously, I had that earlier in the month of September, but what I've actually noticed is I did a releasing ritual on 999. Oh, and I want to mention that too. I, I did a releasing ritual then. That What I released during that was like, you know, issues with blocks, with um, basically physical blocks, any blocks that I had in my life that were preventing me from having, you know, a peaceful, prosperous time and... Um, anything that has, you know, old stuff that I needed to release. And there was, like, other things that I released. So I really did that. And I really felt this massive shift of energy within me the night I did that 999 um, gateway release, um, the one I had mentioned to all of you. It was so powerful and wonderful. But then, shortly thereafter, everything kicked up. And, you know, it's really funny. It's more... Um, you know, people people who know me know me, but they don't really understand some of the ways my brain works and how I operate. I really do go through spirit. I use my heart. I use my heart energy as everything. Like I work and live from my heart energy. Well, when you do that, sometimes you don't listen to your head, and you get you kind of get out of your head, and you don't necessarily deal with all the stuff that needs to get t taken care of in terms of like, oh, I can get to that later. Oh, I'll do that later. So those things just kind of pile up and build, and you have to address them at some point. And so this Mercury retrograde, because of my clearing, I actually removed old patterns, old behaviors, and my goodness, did I tell do, can I tell you that like what has come up for me to release during this Mercury retrograde, I've dealt with everything as it comes. So as everything is coming, I've been in my head more than I've ever been for the last two and a half weeks. I would say almost three weeks now, perhaps. Yeah, I would say almost three weeks. It, I've, I've never been in my head so much. I've never thought so much. I've never been running on automatic pilot as much as I have been, not since like, I don't know, not since the 90s when I was in politics and um, worked in government. Um, 
you know, it's crazy when I think about it because all this energy was exactly what I asked for. I asked to like clear these blocks and for me to clear those was for me to address them and face them as they come. And I've noticed a lot of um, me taking charge and in more of a um, mental way, if you will. And I think what's interesting about that is because I'm a Pisces and because I am like, you know, pretty compassionate and loving and, and I am really kind and I never want to harm anyone. And there's so much going on in this world. And I usually say, well, you know, it's not really worth it. Let's not, you know, I'm not going to argue with somebody. I'm not going to um, pursue that. It's just not worth the energy. It's just too much. And that's actually very Piscean in a way because we are all about like balancing and, and making sure that everybody's okay and, and keeping, you know, neutral energies. And I, I didn't, this time around, this last few weeks, I just, I didn't react in that way. I reacted completely different. And I feel like I, I joked and I said, I'm pulling out my inner twin, you know, so my twin flame, I'm pulling out his energy because, you know, he's, he's um, a lawyer. So he thinks in his head a lot. He's very mental. He addresses things. He hits things head on. That's not how I normally am. Um, and I do for, you know, certain things in my life, because some of the, you people who know me know that there are certain things that I actually do that with. But there's a lot of little like human things that tether me to be 3D or, or more physical, if you will. And I just, don't want to deal with like you know oh they mischarged me I have to like call that bill and let them know this is wrong and you know I'm like ah eh, just forget it it's only this much money it's not a big deal and in the grand scheme of things it is a big deal because the reality is there's a lot of injustice a lot of mishappenings that we all not all I, I would say just but me and people like me we just kind of let it go and say you know what it's not really worth the stress it's not really worth fighting and, um, you know, I like to say that, you know, Pisces were lovers, not fighters. And, and I mean that from the utmost truth, because I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I don't want to confront. I don't want to have to deal with. I do if I have to, like, I mean, literally push to do it. Um, but this last month, I did it. I wasn't pushed, pushed, pushed. But there was things that were pushing me internally to face and confront things. So for me, during this last Mercury retrograde, I actually had to do the work. And I had to face things. I had to confront things. I had to follow up, which put me front and center in the mental body, thinking, reacting from my mental capacity. And it, to me, it was like I felt kind of like discombobulated in a way and overwhelmed. And it wasn't, it's funny, it wasn't overwhelmed where it stopped me doing things. But what it did was it put me in this like, crazy fast paced energy and I was like wow this must be what it's like for my twin because he always tells me he's so busy and he doesn't have time and I'm like oh my god this is his life and it helped me understand him but it also gave me this you know it was funny it gave me this like oh my god I'm overwhelmed I don't have a moment to breathe I feel like I'm constantly running around and quite literally I was constantly running around a lot of things happened that I had to be addressing and um, good things bad things and different things you know but just things I had to get done and I felt like with um, me, that's how mine played out. That's how my life played out. And instead of being overwhelmed where I just crashed and didn't do anything, I actually was really productive and really accomplished a lot. Now, mind you, I look at my, my computer and my emails and I look at all the work that I have to do yet. And I think, what the hell did I accomplish? I accomplished nothing. Actually, I accomplished quite a bit, even though it doesn't appear that way. Um, in my mind, it doesn't appear that way. But Truly, I accomplished quite a bit of stuff. So as I'm doing, I'm saying all this to you, you know, what's coming to my mind is like, well, then how does this play out for my twin flame? What is going on for him? Is he just as busy as he's going crazy too? And I felt like I felt into this a little bit yesterday for the first time because I honestly haven't had time to feel into anything. I've been really, you know, I haven't t taken the time to do my meditation and healing on me. And, you know, I do a little bit every day. That's just a given. I do every morning, every night I do something. But often I will fit in a little extra time every day for me to do something for me and my twin. And, and I didn't, I haven't had time to like do some stuff with us. And yesterday I did kind of tune in a little and I said, Holy crap, it's really incredible. So he's always in his head. I'm always in my emotions cause I'm always in feeling. And, um, I'm, I feel in it being Pisces, I'm very floaty and comfortable in emotions and feelings. And so for me to navigate that, that's easy, right? That's like a piece of cake. It might feel crappy at times. It might feel horrible. I might go up and down the range of emotions, but I feel like I get it. I can handle it. I'm able to do it. Well, with him, that's definitely not his comfort zone. He's an air sign. So they're really mental, really in their head. So where I was this last month, I think he, that he's always in that place, right? And where 
he was this month is where I'm always in the place. So I tuned in and I got that he was really in his emotional body. He's facing and confronting emotions and feelings. And they were surfacing and pushing up for him to deal with. And, you know, I talked to him last week and he was loving and amazing and wonderful. And it was funny. We talked about getting together and I actually said, I, I don't know when. I just don't, ha I don't have any time. And I didn't have a car, like all these crazy things. And then my car again happened this week. Everything was like a redo for me, which is funny because it is Mercury retrograde. So, you know, getting my car fixed during Mercury, big surprise. I had to get it fixed again because something did not get fixed. Um, but I feel like he was in his emotions. So if you're kind of like in this scatter crazy energy and maybe you're in your emotions, we'll think about where your twin might be tune into where you might be because a lot of us just kind of go on automatic pilot and we don't pay attention. I am very well aware of what was going on with me and I was feeling it every single moment. And the beauty of it was I was experiencing it, feeling it, living it, breathing it and processing it as I was going. And I did not let it take me down and bring me into lower frequency. I did not allow it to depress me and pull me into low vibration. And believe me, some of the stuff that I experienced could totally have put me there three, four, five, six months ago. But for some reason, I'm in this better place. You know, we um, did a lot of transformation over the summer. We did a lot of um, uh, energy body shifting and upgrading. And I'm always upgrading and I'm always activating me in higher levels and I'm always working on me. So, you know, I offer energy body upgrades to people and I offer um, healing sessions and clearing sessions to people. I do that with me all the time. If I didn't do that with me, I couldn't help any of you. So... Um, what I'm trying to say is like all the work I'm doing, it actually shows up and I'm in it. It shows up in my reality as like, holy crap, I am doing it. And because I'm doing that work, here's a great way to see how far I've come. I'm not getting trapped in that old spiral of hell that I used to, or that cycle of, um, patterning. I'm actually clearing, cutting patterns and I'm being done. I also noticed that with people, I was a little more, um, little more boundary setting than I've ever been. And, you know, I love that. It's like the inner power is coming out and I'm actually owning that and I'm, I'm being conscious of that. So those are things that happen for me, but I want you to know that I think it's happening for all of you too. I just don't know exactly in your capacity. Are you, were you in this last month um, riding more through your spiritual body because you're never there? Or were you riding more through your mental body because you're never there? Or were you riding more through your emotional body because you're never there? Or even your physical body, like physical aches and pains or, or healing, spontaneous healing stuff. You know, each one of us is in a different place, right? So each one of us is going through different things. And each of us are releasing different things in our life. And so all of that was happening this month. So tune in best to where you were in your body um, and what energy body you were working through. So I'm going to tell you, I was clearly in my mental body working through it. And I'm not finished. I'm almost done. But I, I, and I don't think I'll ever be finished because the truth is we're supposed to balance it all out. And so, um, but I'm finished from that, like, I think I'm coming off of that craziness and I'm praying I'm coming off of that craziness. All right. All of that being said, that's what's been happening with Mercury Retrograde. That is where we're at right now. We're kind of coming out of that. But I don't think we're done. Like September is still a huge energy. Like major things are coming up and major things are happening. And so... What I, I encourage all of you to know and to pay attention to is like what is transitioning in the world around you and what is happening internally. There's so much going on and um, you're feeling it, your twin flame is feeling it, and we have other opportunities. So I want to quickly talk about um, the 999 gateways and I want to talk about the Equinox. That's my plan at least. <laughs> we'll see what we get to. So 999, um, the gateway, the first one was on, on September 9th. The, the, um, you know, I want to, I want to mention, so in my video, I recorded the day that I recorded the video about the 999 gateway. I was talking specifically and I channel things, you know, so when things come through, that's what I give. So I gave 999 gateway. I gave the 927 gateway, which is next Tuesday. Um, but I, I, I neglected the 918 gateway. Well, here's the interesting thing. So I had plenty of people comment on my video, which I'm totally fine. I love the comments. I love that you're sharing information and I love that you pointed that out to me. So I didn't get that the day that I was channeling, speaking, and, and talking with all of you through the video. And I was like, well, you know, that's weird, but that is a 9-9 gateway. Like, you know, why didn't I get that? And I let it go, didn't think much of it. Well, after the last two weeks that I've had, wow, no wonder. I didn't have time because what I did on 999 actually created all this change and 
healing that went over 918. There was absolutely no way in heck that I would ever have been able to do or utilize the 999 gateway the same way that I did at the beginning of the month. And I don't think I'll be able to utilize it. I wouldn't have been able to utilize it the way that I can now at the end of this month. So I think that's why when I recorded the first video, the 918 never even hit my head, never came into my mind. Also, my guides probably just said neglected to tell me, not on purpose, but probably like said, let's leave it out because she's just not going to have time to deal with it. There's going to be too much other stuff that she's dealing with because of what she's going to do on 999. So I'm telling all of you that because you, I don't know if you use the 918 gateway. If you didn't, I hope you did. I hope you, if you didn't use the 999 gateway, I hope you use the 918 gateway. And regardless, you have one more, 927. So we are still in this, and we still have opportunities to do more clearing and releasing. And I highly recommend that you utilize it. We're already in the gateway. It's already opening. We're already moving. Pretty much this whole month is a gateway in a way. Um, 927 is another opportunity to kind of put closure to whatever has really surfaced this last month, like any lingering thing. So, you know, I was saying how I'm creating more boundaries. Well, there's people that honestly are in my life that are not of light or they're not I don't want to say not of light but they're not of um, high vibrational frequency and they're actually impacting me perhaps in a negative way and I can't own that anymore and I need to say like what I need to say and I need to put it out there and I also need to speak my truth all the time and sometimes um, you know I'll bite my tongue and not want to say something because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because consciously and intuitively I can sense how the person's going to react. Now, the reality is I know whatever I say is never going to hurt somebody's feelings. It's how they perceive things that will hurt their feelings because I never put anything in a negative way or a negative spin. I say it with love always. And uh, my intention is always to give love to somebody. So if it comes across that I'm putting out boundaries and you're not used to me doing it, that's why, you know, because I'm putting out boundaries. And so there's more for me to come to use with this and, and come to releasing. So I want to just say to all of you, please use the 927, nine, the, the September 27th, 2016, 999 gateway. Use that for you. Release what you need to. Whatever comes up for you. Or you don't even have to say I'm releasing this. You can say I put closure to because I feel like it's put closure to so that October can be this opening energy of harvest because I feel like we're in that space where harvest is coming. It's not quite there yet. We're getting there. Um, we're okay. So now I want to jump to the equinox because I'm already at 20 minutes and I feel bad because I wanted to make this short and I have to prepare for my class that's coming. Um, plus, you know, actually look a little more human than the mess I'm looking at. So I, um, today is an equinox, is equinox energy, so we're still in the equinox energy. Mercury started moving direct. Well, I'm hosting an equinox event here in my town where I live. I'm holding it on the beach. We're creating a water wheel ceremony. Um, so we're actually creating a water wheel to honor the waters of the earth, but also we're going to do a releasing ritual. I always offer that on equinox and solstice ceremonies because a lot of people don't take advantage of the opportunities to release, so I want to offer that to people. And also, um, we're going to do a connection with the people, the um, the people in North Dakota, the Standing Rock Sioux, the Native American tribe that is fighting the Dakota Access Pipeline. And God bless them, and I send them love and energy. And so we're going to connect with them and bring in some energy to assist them as well. So that's part of my equinox ritual that I'll be doing, as well as connecting with my twin and you know bringing in his vibrational frequency into me and work with his energy, place us in a Merkaba and everything. Um, but I feel like for all of us, this energy is preparing us for what's coming. And I feel something big is still coming, and I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't feel like it's um, good, bad, or indifferent. It's like good, bad, or indifferent. I don't know what it is. I just know it's big, and it's going to be transformational and changing. And it's already happening is what I'm told. It's already happening. Again, we're not going to see it until it like shows up into our physical reality. But it's already happening at a higher dimensional level. So get ready for some real excitement, real change. Um, I don't know what that looks like, but get ready for it because I think it's coming. And that's what this energy, this equinox energy is about. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving out of old paradigm. Like we really are closing out old paradigm energy. So those of you who believe in relationships, you know, being um, 
like the 1950s, please recognize that is going away. It might not appear it because when you watch TV, you hear certain people speak or you're um, looking at certain things, it might show you the same reflection of what that energy, the old paradigm energy is, but we're not there. And those of us who are high frequency, we are so not there. And those of us who are twin flames, we're even more not there. We are in the new paradigm. So one of the things that I would suggest using this timeline for, and my guides are channeling this into me, of uh, using this timeline of uh, the equinox energy, the 9-9 and gateway again, using this time to put closure to those old paradigm beliefs that you still carry. Like your knight in shining armor is going to ride in, um, the divine feminine, your knight in shining armor is going to ride in on a white horse and save the day for you. Your divine masculine is coming on that white horse. That's not happening. They're not coming to rescue you. They're coming to love you and be with you. But they're not going to rescue you. You still have your crap to clear and heal. And you still have your stuff to finish dealing with, right? So what was going on for me this month, my twin couldn't help me. He talked to me. We had this beautiful conversation. But he doesn't really understand what's happening energetically. I do. You know, that's where my realm is. That's where I feel comfortable, safe. So, like, I'm really comfortable in spirit and emotion. I really suck in physical and mental. I don't really suck in that. I just say that. But um, that's not really where my – I feel the most comfortable. He feels most comfortable physical and mental. Well, isn't that a beautiful balance if you think about it? Physical, mental, me, spiritual sp and emotional – Nice balance for us. Well, guess what? It kind of flipped over. And that's what I think it happened to all twins this month. So look at your situations. Look at what's going on with you and see where your energy has been. Has been. So, um, you know, he came in. He talked to me. We had this beautiful conversation. I mean, probably the most amazing conversation we've had in a while. And it really made me feel like all the years in between the time I first met him and felt that mad, passionate love and just knew this is who he was. Oh, you can hear my dryer in the background, I'm sure. Um, I, it was the first time in a long time that I felt him being the man that I truly fell in love with. And I, not the first time in a long time, I, I, I'm taking that back. He's been doing that gradually over the last few months. But the way he spoke was different, you know, and it was more empowered. Actually, that's the other beauty. He was more empowered when he spoke with me. So to me, that means our twins are really receiving the upgrades, really receiving the changes that they do that we've been doing and what we've been putting out there and what the universe is bringing to them. It's actually happening. He's showing that to me. But him talking with me and having this great conversation, before we had the conversation, I knew he wasn't going to fix anything. I just wanted to hear his voice. And just hearing his voice gave me that little extra kick. Um, or having the email with him that we had gave me the little, little extra kick. And um, the truth was it didn't fix it because I still felt scattered, crazy, and in my head. Um, it was a nice little break, but the reality was he couldn't fix it. It's stuff I have to do. It's my work. It's my stuff I need to do. Just as he has his stuff he needs to do. So what I want to I want to emphasize, which I'm sure I've em emphasized many times, and I'm probably all sick of hearing it, please, please, please look at what you need to do. Focus on you. What needs to go? What needs to clear? What needs to be healed? Because as you do that, it's happening for them. It might not happen the way you think it needs to. It's not going to look like you think it's going to. The whole thing I've, I've talked about many times before is no expectations. Don't have expectations. Just trust it's happening. Because when you have expectations, you limit. Because your expectations place this is how it should look. This is what it looks like. This is what it will be. And when you do that, you're putting limits on how it can appear in your reality. So I, I encourage you to have no expectations about what is happening. Just trust that it is. Like, I don't know what he's doing exactly emotionally and um, spiritually, but my feeling is it's happening. The way he spoke to me, he was in his highest self. He was in his power in a loving, heart-centered way. Um, I didn't say speak to me from your heart. He just did it, you know. So, and I was more mental, which is funny, you know, like we're just literally flip, flip roles. So I'm guessing you and your twin are flipping roles. Whether you're talking to your twin or not, it doesn't matter. Just recognize that's probably what's happening, especially if you've gone through a really rough spell in the last month. Um, okay, I, I'm going to stop rambling because I've been rambling a lot this morning, and um, I really wanted to just bring you up to date, kind of up to speed what's going on. I promise that since my computer held out, that in the next few days, probably not likely till next week, um, but maybe, you know, it might surprise you. Um, I might do another video with a reading, but at the moment, I, I 
I feel like this twin flame update is more important. This was more important to get this message out to you about what to use this energy and how to use the energy, recognizing where you are, where your twin is, and um, what is happening, you know, to both of you. Because that is half of the battle, understanding what's happening. You know, if I went through this last month and had no idea, I'd be angry, frustrated, and wanting to, like, just be done, you know, and be depressed and reactive and all in the negative ways. And I chose to um, see things from a different perspective. But I also was very conscious and aware because of the healing and the work that I do. I'm always paying attention to, like, what's going on in me. I know me better than anybody else would ever know me, you know. Um, and it's not just because I'm psychic. And many people will say, oh, it's because you're psychic and you're intuitive. No, it's because I actually know me and I've worked on me. I've been working on me since I was 17 years old when I realized, whoa, something's not right here. Got to look at this. So having that and just being conscious of me and understanding me and knowing my patterns, knowing my behavior and really being coming clean with it and being honest about what my patterns and behavior are, that makes a big difference. And a lot of people don't do that, you know, and I'm sure there's some of you out there that are like, I have nothing else to heal. I did all my clearing. The the truth is, you know, if you're not with your twin yet, and even if you are with your twin and you're having problems, the the truth is that there's still stuff there, right? You know, we're, we're not here. Um, we're not here, I guess, problem free is what I want to say. And because we're clearing, not just for us, we're clearing for all of humanity there's a lot, <laughs> you know, it's not going to end in one moment. But what I can tell you is the more you clear, the more you do, the more healing you do on you and the more um, truth telling you do to yourself, the more realistic it is for you to move through that stuff faster. And the faster you move through it, the more quickly the union will happen. And as that's going on, my belief is my truth and my belief is that you will discover huge change, huge transition. And you will find that things flow and move much quicker. And, you know, I, I'm telling all of this to you because I didn't learn all of this right away. You know, when I met my twin, it was 11 years ago, actually. It, and it will be in six, no, five days from now will be the 10th anniversary of the first time I ever saw him in person. Um, and it was amazing. And I actually need to remind him of that soon. Um Hey, maybe he'll remind me. I open to, I'm open to him reminding me. So, um, I, I'm, you know, when I met him, energy was much slower. It wasn't as quick as it was now. We were in much denser frequency. We weren't in this higher vibe frequency that we're in now. So things couldn't get through as quickly. And a lot of people like me, we met our twins early, and um, the energy was different. And we're kind of like the ones that are trying to like navigate the journey. And then all of a sudden you know, the gateways open and stu and tools started coming in really fast and furious. And other people came in that were coming together and they were ready to, to unite. And so they started becoming teachers as well. And more and more information is out there on the internet about twin flames. But when I met my twin flame, you know, I only knew the words my other half. Ever since I was five years old, that's what I called him. And when I met him, I didn't know the word twin flame. I didn't actually know the word twin flame until 2011. And I met him in 2005. So that tells you how different the energy frequency was and, and is. And I was getting messages back then about twin flames, but I didn't know what those, I didn't know the word twin flame. I was getting, um, oh, I think my friend, it's actually, the, I, I learned the word twin flame in 2008, 2007, 2008, I believe. Um, but I didn't know, I wasn't living in that word. And then I started to really recognize that word stronger as 11, 2011 came into play. Um, but, you know, back then I was getting information about what my job was, what my mission was, but I didn't really understand where that was coming from, how that would happen, because I really didn't think I'd ever be politically involved again. And I actually feel very active and ready to do some political stuff. So I'm sharing that with you because I, I want you to realize that we're in faster times. Energy is faster, higher frequency. That means change takes place much quicker. quicker excuse me. Um, and last Lastly, when I first met my twin, it, it took me forever to do one kind of healing. Like it took like weeks, months, years even. And it would just seem like I was moving through molasses. And now when I do healing, I'm moving through, um, I don't know, honey. No, actually, no, honey is a little still heavy. I would say water, like, you know, more through like a 
I don't know, a good kale smoothie because it's a little thicker, but it's not terrible and it's pretty healthy. Um, anyway, I, I thank you all for listening to me and I hope that this message helped in some way to kind of give you some uh, clarity as to what's been happening, um, where I've been, you know, because I, I know a lot of people are like, you know, where you been? We miss your videos. And I thank you. Thank you for doing that. And thank you for missing me and um, connecting with me. And thank you for feeling a connection to me because I, I truly feel a connection to all of you, even though I don't know all of you personally. I feel this soul connection and I'm grateful for that. Um, and I will be back at some point and um, just send some good vibes that my new computer works spectacularly and that videos will come out wonderfully. Um, I send you love and light. I send you blessings and um, may you have a blessed union and trust in your heart always and your truth and you will always be okay. Namaste. Sending out love to all of you.